The Scottish Conservatives accused the SNP of taking its trademark secrecy and cover up to a new low during the pandemic. The SNP's true, rotten colours have been exposed by two key findings at the COVID inquiry, Scottish Tory leader Douglas Ross said. The Scottish Conservative leader pointed to revelations about deleted WhatsApp messages and SNP ministers plotting to use the pandemic to boost the independence cause. Mr Ross spoke out ahead of a debate on government transparency at Holyrood tomorrow when Nicola Sturgeon is due to appear before the inquiry. He said, the COVID-bereaved families have been utterly betrayed by an SNP government which took its trademark secrecy and cover up to a new low during the pandemic. The inquiry has exposed their sickening cynicism and self-interest. We have learned of the orchestrated and concerted efforts of senior ministers and officials to delete WhatsApp messages en masse. And the messages that have been recovered explain the reason for the cover-up. They didn't want us to know that Nicola Sturgeon shamefully exploited the pandemic for purely political purposes to stoke division with the UK government and push the SNP's independence obsession. That's not an allegation, it's a fact. Minutes of a cabinet meeting in June 2020, and messages from the former First Minister's Chief of Staff, explicitly say so. They illustrate the SNP's true, rotten colours. If Hamza Yousaf's apology to the bereaved is to mean anything, he must refer himself to the independent adviser on the ministerial code for misleading comments on his own WhatsApp messages and back our calls to reconvene the COVID-19 committee so that he and other ministers can be held to account. Scottish First Minister and SNP leader Hamza Yousaf used his COVID inquiry appearance last week to apologise for the Scottish government's handling of requests for WhatsApp messages to be handed.